Hi everyone, it's another week of sheltering at home. And so I am going to create a small series of Pilates videos for you. The first one will be pre-Pilates. The second one will be basic mat on your back. And the third one will be uh, side leg series. And you can watch these in order or you can just go to your favorite part that you want guidance in. And then we'll do some standing balance work to follow that up. But these videos are going to be about 20 minutes long each because I think that's what's going to upload most easily onto YouTube. Okay, so this first one is your pre-Pilates video. Let's get started. All right, so we're going to lay down on our mat. If you have hand weights, you can have those available for later. And if you have a long TheraBand or a yoga strap that you can take up over your foot, you can have that ready. You can also have a red circular TheraBand, a block, a yoga block, or a firm pillow, or a yoga blanket, and a squishy ball. And these, this is different from the ones I have at the studio, but you can order them online. They're called Gertie Balls, G-E-R-T-I-E, -E. okay? So let's come down onto our backs and let's begin with our breath. Fluid, deep inhales and complete relaxed exhales. Remember those of you who need pillows, you're going to place a pillow underneath your head that allows the hairline of your forehead, the upper forehead to be even with your chin when you're lying on the floor. You wanna make sure that pillow isn't running into the vertebrae of your neck, it's just supporting the head. And let's take a few deep and fluid breaths into the whole circumference of your lowest ribs. Fluid, deep breaths. Letting your sides expand out to the side. Your belly and your low back ribs expand. And then let's just inhale the arms up overhead to begin and stretch them out on the mat. Let's just reach the arms long and take a few breaths, making sure your arms aren't going to run into anything during the practice. And then let's exhale the arms back down by the sides. Rest the shoulders back, your neck crease and hyoid bone back. Release the jaw, the eyes into your sockets, and relax the face. And then let's exhale and float your right leg up to tabletop and float it back down. Keeping the pelvis grounded, float the left leg up and float it back down. Now perhaps even harder, we're gonna just lift the right foot off the floor so that we could slide a piece of paper under it. Just see if you can lift only that much and let your shoulders rest back, your neck relax. And then almost lift the left foot off the floor. How can you support yourself from the pelvic core? And release. Now almost lift the left foot off and release. And almost lift the right foot off and release. Do this a few more times as you feel into what muscles activate and what muscles can you use to stabilize, allowing the shoulders, the neck, and the face to stay relaxed. And then the next time you almost lift left, float it to tabletop and float it back down, landing your foot light as a feather. And then float the right leg up and float it down, landing light as a feather. And then float the right leg up and pause. Take a few breaths into your ribs, relaxing shoulders, neck, and jaw. Activate from the low ribs down to float the left leg up. And now begin your toe dips. Right toe dips for the floor and comes back up. And then left toe dips for the floor and comes back up. Fluid breath into the whole circumference of your lowest ribs. Let's do one more set. 
Joseph Pilates didn't believe in lots of repetitions of things. He wanted more animal-like movements. Really stabilize the right leg and then take the left leg out to the left and bring it back to center. Focus on stabilizing left and take the right leg out. Fluid breath back and forth, opening the shin as if it were the page of a book. Exhaling to center and inhaling out. Back of the neck stays long without forcing it into military, straight back to neck. Let's do one more set. And then let's hug your knees in and circle the knees wide and take a few breaths, just inviting the femur bone to move in the hip socket. And then take it around the other way. Fluid breath. And then let's float your right foot back to the floor and your left foot to join it. That's the beginning of pre-Pilates work. And now we're going to lift up. Oops. And we're going to start with the block. <laughs> Place the block underneath your sacrum. So it's a little more stable than a ball. That's where we'll go next. And we let ourselves relax onto the block. And because we just did that beginning core work, let's take the right leg long. Stretch out the psoas pathway. The psoas connects to the inner thigh at the inner trochanter. It comes through the pelvis and up to the spine. So we're letting that lengthen out for a few breaths. See how much you can relax on the exhales lengthening in this slight back bend and then step your right foot back in and lengthen the left leg out. Now anybody with stenosis, you may not want to come into this back, these back bends. You may want to just keep your spine long and flat, fluid breath, or at least have your foot lifted on something higher so that you can still lengthen the leg, but you're not coming into a back bend. Fluid breath. And then draw the foot back in. Make sure your neck is nice and long and float your right leg up to tabletop. Activate your core and float the left leg up to join. Now we begin again, toe dipping right, toes towards the floor. We don't touch, we don't rebound, we move nice and slow. Fluid breath, waking up the core. And then we come back to center and we take the left leg out to the left and bring it back. Stabilizing the sacrum on the block, we may use the backs of the arms and the shoulder blades, that's good. That's waking up our back myofascial slings. And then come back up and let's take the legs long. Sorry, my legs are going out of the camera. So we take the long, legs long and we come into a little Pilates V and we imagine that there's a ladybug between our heels we don't want to smash and we just very lightly tap. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we lower the legs an inch or two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And lower again. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Don't forget the ladybug. Lift, lengthen, and do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. To the top. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And hug your knees in and circle them. And then lift back up. Now, feet parallel. We're going to go walking. They're tiny little half foot steps and the legs are as straight as they can be. If we have tight hamstrings, the legs might be bent as we walk and we begin. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last one. Two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now bring your feet into your V. Take your feet a little wider than your shoulders, down away from you, together and up in circles. Fluid breath. Can you keep the legs long and relax the feet? Can you keep engaged from ribs to hip pointers? And then down the center line, wide, up and together. Fluid breath. And last one. Good. And then let's bend the knees in. Let's open the right leg overhead, left leg towards the far wall, and then switch in a scissor. And switch. Really try to find length in both legs. Feel where the legs connect into the core. Relax shoulders, relax neck and jaw, and switch. And then come back to center. Let's bend back into our beautiful tabletop. Lower one foot to the floor, and then the other. And then lift up off the block, and take it out. The lower back down. Now, some of you, if you're new to Pilates, may not want to try it with the TheraBand at this point. You may not have one. If you want to order a TheraBand like this, you can order them from powersystems.com. This is the red, I think it's the medium level. It's what I use in the studio. Much better than some of the flimsy things you can get on Amazon. I tried that. <laughs> so lift up, place the ball under your sacrum. For those of you with sacroiliac instability or spinal issues, you may want to stay on the block, okay? So your choice, you're in your own living rooms, you're your own teachers. So we exhale, we lift one leg to tabletop and the other leg to join. And then we float one leg down in the toe dip. Now your focus is on the still leg and then you come back up. Let's do that same leg three times. And then you come up. Your shoulders and arms can help you stabilize. Your hands can rest on the ribs if you like them to. Oops, that was four. And let's try the other side. How still can the still leg stay? That's the focus. And we come back up. We move nice and slow, focused on keeping the still leg still. And one more. Then we come heels together and we open the knees wide and we close. We inhale open and we exhale closed. And we inhale and we exhale. And then let's lift the legs and take them wide as a little rest. Come back to center, bend the knees. Now open the knees as wide as your shoulders and think, I'm gonna really try to keep my left leg still as I move my right leg towards my shoulder three times. One, two, three. And then I'm gonna switch sides. Left knee towards left shoulder, one, two, three. And I come back heel to heel and close the knees and lift the legs and stretch. Bring the legs back together, bend the knees, open the legs, shoulder just like so, the knees, and then bring the heels together, open the knees a tiny bit wider than that. Now, toe dip your right toe at this angle past your left foot, and then you come back up. So the knees stay open, and your toe dipping at the angle past the foot. Really, again, we're concentrating on the still leg staying as still as possible. And last set. And one more. And then lift and reach. Come together. Right leg overhead, left leg towards the wall. And switch. Now you can bring the TheraBand up to your ankles. And if you have a TheraBand, then you just press gently into it. If not, you try this motion without the TheraBand. A one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, and up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now I'm gonna bend my knees and take the TheraBand off with my feet and come back up, leg straight, and scissor right leg overhead, left leg far, and then begin bicycling. Fluid breath, bicycling the legs. And then begin to bicycle backwards. Really extend the lengthening leg out. Your bicycles can be small, or they can be large. Let's go forward again. Start small and make them larger and larger. Try to keep fluid grace in the motion. Again, if you're wobbling a lot on the ball, then come back to a block. And we switch. Fluid breath into the whole circumference of the ribcage. And then come back up to the top. Bend the knees, lower one foot to the floor, and then the other. You can lengthen one leg out, and if you'd like, you can lengthen the other leg out. Again, not a good idea with stenosis. Coming into your back bend if it's accessible in your body. If you're feeling a twinge in the lower back, let's do one side at a time. It's fine to do one side at a time. Fluid breath. And if you have the flexibility, you can open it up and just release over the ball and breathe. Either way is great. Fluid breath. Please do what's best for your body. Honor your body. Deep and fluid breaths into these muscles we were just contracting. Letting them lengthen out and stretch with the breath. And then let's walk our feet back in. We'll lift up off the ball and take the ball out. Let ourselves rest a moment in Shavasana because we can. That's in honor of my friend Angelica. Fluid breath. Can you let the tension drain away? And then walk your feet in and turn yourselves over. And that's the pre-Pilates part one. Next is classic mat.